Welcome to the Did God Say That podcast. Today, we continue our conversation with Jesse L. Radford III, Senior Pastor of Upper Room Christian Cathedral in Manassas, Virginia. He and Angela had an amazing time in the last episode discussing the topic of binding and loosing the devil. Scripture reads, Whatever we bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven, and whatever we loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. Since we know scripture to be true, why do we continue trying to bind the devil on earth when clearly he is not being bound in heaven? This is part two of that same discussion on binding and loosing the devil. Thanks for listening to the Did God Say That podcast. This is this is why this podcast is so is so necessary. It's so powerful. And I'm telling you, I, I, I joked. I said, you in trouble. You're going to get in trouble. But honestly. The, the number of believers in various denominations. Oh, yes. That use this on a regular basis. Oh, yes. That whip themselves and the congregation into a frenzy. Into a frenzy. And listen, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm all for having a good experience mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. worship. But let it be let it be authentic. Let it be something that that rises above above you know the 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 you know the the ceiling. Let it be something that rises above you know this the tile. Let it reach heaven. That right there does not reach heaven. It does not reach the ear of God. God is not obligated. He's not bound to 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 do anything Mm-mm. with that. Mm-mm. <sighs> So when you're hollering and I loose, I loose this, I loose that. So to loose literally means to destroy, to dissolve, to unloose, to melt, to put off. To loosen what is bound means to untie. Mm -hmm. Of persons bound in sin and wickedness who are loose through the preaching of a saving relationship with Jesus Christ and are judged or disciplined by the church based on their works. Found in Matthew 16, 19, and 18, 18. It doesn't have anything to do with warfare. Mm -mm. It doesn't have a thing to do with warfare, spiritual or otherwise. Mm. It doesn't have anything to do with any of that. And so before you start praying that, before you start spouting and saying that, you need to understand, did God say it first? And if you say, well, the scripture says whatever I bind in heaven, it said whatever, not whoever. Because a lot of us are binding people. Wow. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You've heard people pray. Were they binding people? Oh, my. Uh Uh-huh. I bind him up. Where? To what? What are you binding him to? Because it said whatever. Wow. Whatever. Not who. What? Ever. Mm. And how long is whatever you bind or whoever you bind going to stay bound? Mm. Because if you bind the devil permanently, then you need to go back to Revelation 20. Because what when John say he saw the angel. Oh, you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble. So, he, so, he, so he's, re, he's, he's, he's let free for work release. For, I, he's on a work release program. He's on parole. <laughs> Probation. I don't know. Good he got behavior, an ankle bracelet. Good behavior. So he, he's on work release. So he come in and, and wreak havoc mm-hmm. <laughs> in mm-hmm. your life because he's on work release. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you bound him. But you bound him. Oh. But you bound him. And therein lies the problem. You did it. There it is. And, and uh, something you said about, you know, the binding. If you bind him, you become his jailer. And you're responsible for keeping him bound. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You can't keep you free. Ooh. How are you going to keep him bound? Oh, my. Oh, my. We can't <laughs> keep ourselves free. Hallelujah. Jesus. And, you, and, and, and now you've obligated yourself to to keep <laughs> the enemy of God bound. How about that? And here's the other thing. Mm. Why are you having a whole conversation and a fight with a defeated unemployed cherub? Hello. Hello? It's finished. 
It is finished. Why? How are you binding the devil? And Jesus defeated him and said, it is finished. Yes. So what are you binding? And how are you binding what Jesus has finished? It is finished. Somewhere along the line, either you don't believe God or you hadn't read <laughs> like, like well, understood what you or read. understood what you read somewhere along the line. You read it and didn't study it. Mm hmm. How are you binding the devil? Wow. When Jesus said it is finished. Yes. Why are you fighting with a defeated cherub? When you are a kingdom citizen with all rights and privileges therein, mm -hmm. and you have been brought from the system of darkness where the undefeated cherub lies into the kingdom of the marvelous light of the one who is sovereign and finished the work. Yeah. Yeah. He finished the work. The work was finished. Could, could, could this be, could this be, one of the many ploys, one of the many tactics that the devil uses to keep us from pursuing the things that, that really matter Absolutely. in the kingdom. Yeah. If, if, if I can get you to believe that I, that, that I'm not defeated, Come that on. what I'm doing is, is effective enough to delay you, to derail you, to deny you of what God has, has, has promised you. And actually you possess if I can make you think that you don't have it, then you keep pursuing it. You keep pursuing what you already have. Yeah. He's given you dominion. He's made you what? A royal priest, mm -hmm. a royal nation, a holy priesthood, whichever way it go, mm -hmm. I always say it backwards. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. A royal priesthood, a holy nation. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Then why are you fighting a fight that's already been won? Already been won. Listen, when they won the fight in World War II, they did not go back to Hitler and say, we need to fight some more. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. no. Mm -mm. It, was, it was done. It is finished. So why then are we so bent on fighting the devil when literally scripture says to us, if you submit to God, Wow. Resist the devil. There it is right there. He will flee from you. It doesn't tell you. You got to chase him. You, you, <laughs> that therein is, is, is where, the, where, where the answer is. The devil is still very much active in your life. I know they don't want to hear that. No. But they got the victory over the activity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, victory, victory over over what he's doing is already yours. But until I until I until my faith activates that, I, it can be so. Listen, I got I, I got gift cards. Yeah, I got gift cards with with fifty and a hundred dollars on them. Until you activate, them. until I activate them, I can't use them. Oh, that's like getting your new credit card. You got that little one eight hundred number. You got to call and activate it. Yes. Un, 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 until and it's my faith in and my trust in 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 what God has already done and already said. Here's the other thing I heard someone say: You don't need more faith because we often hear, "Without faith, it's impossible mm -hmm, to please mm -hmm. God." But you forget the next few words in that same verse. But you must believe. There it is. There it is. That He is. That He exists. Mm -hmm. And that he rewards those who, who diligently, diligently seek him. him. So you don't need more faith. You just need to change what you believe. That's, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. See, and then if we understood this little tidbit, the devil is not powerful. Your agreement is. There, there it is. Your agreement there is. There it is. And because you have come into agreement that you always need to be in a posture of fight. You don't walk as an ambassador in your executive position. When the last time you saw an ambassador fight, an ambassador comes to whatever the nation is. They present their credentials. They're accepted. 
They come with housing. They come with the finances they need. They come with the staff. They don't fight. Yeah. Yeah. But you always want to fight. Everything is spiritual. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. Baby, you're an ambassador. Rest. Mm. Stop fighting. Wow. It's finished. The victory is yours. He was defeated. He's a defeated cherub. Unemployed. So okay, so okay, so so let me let me let me let me play. Let me play, I don't want to say, let me play the advocate. Let me <laughs> let me play the advocate. But the Bible says, uh uh Elder 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 Angela, that that um the Without that, we have to fight the good fight of faith. If 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 it's finished, what am I fighting? You're not. you everything you're doing should be focused on the gospel in Jesus. See, Jesus came that you would live and that you would have life in heaven in its abundance. He hung on a cross. He bore sin and sickness. He became a curse so that you wouldn't have to live under one. Why are you still fighting? You need, simply need to trust, believe that he is. That's real simple. Do you believe that he is, mm. that God exists? Do you believe that he's your father? Because, see, he says, if you, like, seek after me in my righteousness, I add everything else. Do you believe that? If you believe that, then you don't fall prey to, I need to bind the devil. Because if you do it, it seems like he never stays bound. <laughs> the the way the the way the way this thing you you said it is our our agreement. Our what you have come into agreement with. So so my fight is not with the devil. No, because he's defeated already. Already defeated. Done. My in in any resistance or any push that I have in this walk of faith is in me. It's 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 my, the enemy. It's me. <laughs> Thank because, you. And that's why he works on us so much. That's why, that's why he works on us so much. Cause because I'm my I'm my most difficult opponent. Absolutely. It, it's 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 my agreement. Who who am I going to? What does he say? Whose report shall you believe? Which one? He said, "We shall believe the report of the Lord." And and it. Until until I am in a in full agreement with what God has said, then I feel I have to I have to bind this joker that's already been defeated. I feel that I have to I have to plead the blood, <laughs> brother. That's a whole that's nother. A whole, did God a say nother. that? That's, that's a, a whole, whole nother. Whole did God nother. say that? Yeah. It, yeah. See Romans twelve one. I urge you, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, yet acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service and the worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be what transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. It's what you believe. Once your mind is fully renewed, you don't have to bind the devil. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You can sleep at night. The devil always messes with me. Why? He's defeated. The devil is not messing with you. You have decided you want to believe that he's messing with you. Yeah, yeah. It's like little kids believe in something. I, they believe that there's the boogeyman. We believe there was Santa Claus. Mm. <laughs> Didn't make it so, but we believed it. No. When my goddaughter was little, she believed her goddaddy knew Spider-Man. Whatever fiber her, her being, and you couldn't tell her different. Mm. It didn't make it so. But that's what she believed. You know, you know, uh, a few weeks ago, and I, I think we had a conversation, and it just struck me. And, I, and I, you know, I'm I'm big on words. Words really matter. Yes. Um, and and, and I just began to we, we were in worship here here at the church, and 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 God began to just say, He says, I I want to move you beyond belief. Come on. Into fully persuaded i want to move you beyond belief into fully 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 persuaded because here's the thing if i'm just a believer i can be convinced to believe something else well if you come if if you come with a better argument <laughs> <laughs> if you come with a better argument i can change my belief 
But if I'm fully persuaded. In whom I have belief. There it is. I'm fully persuaded. Like I know that I know. That's what he says. He says, neither death nor height. She'll separate me from the love of God. I'm fully persuaded. I, I know that this is. I I am convinced. I I, I have to. He's, I, I want to move you beyond belief. Beyond because even the belief. devil believes. The Bible says. The devil. The devils believe. So if so, to say I'm a believer is really low level faith. It's 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 a good start, <laughs> you know, because it says, you know, you you have to first believe you have to first believe you got to first believe that he is that he. But see, look at that first believe that that's initial. But there's something more to that. There's something more to that, and it's it's that it's that full persuasion. Like I I know that I know that I know, and I cannot be persuaded. To believe anything else yes. other than what God has said. So the next time you hear somebody say, Satan, I bind you. Or the next time you hear somebody say, I bind such and such. I bind this. We're going we gonna to have a whole nother conversation about we've made everything <laughs> a spirit. Because we've made everything a spirit. I'm like, it's almost about to be the spirit of pancake syrup or something. Everything is a spirit. <laughs> Uh, I bind the spirit of this. I bind the spirit of that. I really want you to say, did God say that? Did God say that? Did God say that? Think about that. For real, for real. Did God say that? And if you think about did God say it, then you're like, wait, he didn't. Mm. He didn't say that. And if he didn't say that, then I, I shouldn't pick that up. I shouldn't and make that a part of my <sighs> lexicon. I shouldn't make that a part of of what of what becomes uh, familiar to for me or to me. And if he didn't say it, and I've picked it up, I need to put it down. Put it down and let it stay there. You know, listen. You need to follow the words of that of that of that, of that prophet. Uh, Teddy Pendergrass, think I better let it go. And on that note, (laughs) I thank my brother for joining us. I really appreciate this. And until next time, I really want you to think about before you say it or pray it, did God say that? Be blessed.